Hello lads, welcome back to the Man United career mode on FIFA 21 with me, our lad for set play gaming, episode 27. And beginning today's episode, we have some unfortunate news. Daniel James has suffered a broken elbow injury, be out for seven weeks. He did that on international break with Wales. So I'll bring in Aliu Traore into the rotation games. He's not quite ready, so... We'll just have to see how we get on with it. Today we're going to be playing CSK Moscow in the Champions League. Uh, that's a midweek fixture. And finish the episode with a game against Southampton in the Premier League. But we begin at St. James's Park taking on Newcastle United. Let's see how we get on in today's games. As the team's on screen, you can pause it there if you want. Um, it's a full strength team. And at the moment... Martial isn't playing so well, so we're hoping that he scores today. And we're here at St. James's Park, as you can see, Alan Shearer in the background there, idle. And uh, relatively slow start for us, you have to say. We have to make sure that we win today's game. Arsenal have started really well in the league. We'll show you the league table coming up in this episode as well. Into Van der Beek. Van der Beek. Oh, and a good save from Dubravka. It was down low. He just spun O'Connell there. Probably should have gone other corner. Edgar Stein, and that's a really good interception from Conrad Lima. And here comes Sancho down the right. He's going to get away from O'Connell. He's in on Dubravka. Sancho! Jaden Sancho scores. It's a fantastic finish. Edge of the six-yard box. Probably shouldn't get beaten at the near post, but we know what near post goals are like on FIFA. Good header from Tellez. He stays down, though. That's not good for us. Martial into Bruno Fernandes. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, crossbar still shaking. Rashford, can he get a shot away? No, he's tackled. Tellers is actually injured. Oh, it's a good interception, though, by him on the line. And Martial, not the place that I really want Martial to be defending back there. He settled the ball down well, though, by Ita Lima. Oh, heavy touch, and Lorenz steals in. And now into Callum Wilson. He's gone by Torres. Oh, Hits the post and goes in. A little bit unlucky there. It's a good finish from Callum Wilson, to be fair. Maybe two seconds later and Baye would have dispossessed him. Martial, nice turn. Bruno. Van der Beek. Bruno. The possession is in our favour right now. Lima to Van der Beek. Martial. Back into Bruno. Get in. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. What a good finish that was. Dubravka didn't even move. Too much time and space in the box. Sort of toe blabs it past the goalie. And at half time we have a 2-1 lead. You just probably need to add that insurance marker in the second half. Wide to Rashford. Rashford cuts inside. Shot's not opened up, but he plays it into Martial. Oh, and Dubravka pushes it away. O'Connell gets a ball back to Dubravka. Oh, he's dilly-dallying with it there, and Bruno almost closed him down. Crossed in. Oh, Martial! That was so close. Bruno, back to Van der Beek. And the shot blocked by O'Connell. And now Martial. Newcastle just about surviving here. Sancho into the box and still not headed clear. Back into Bruno on the turn. And a block again. Lauren, well in from Lima. And here's Conrad Lima into Van der Beek. He's got Rashford wide. And he steps across and sprints past O'Connell like he's not there. Marcus Rashford! What a start of the season Marcus Rashford has had. 
It's a great finish. He smashes it into the bottom corner there. It's a really good finish from Marcus Rashford. And Pochettino likes that. That's five Premier League goals for Marcus Rashford in five games. Couldn't ask for anything more. And that is full time. Let me know in the comments what you think. A 3-1 win at St. James's Park. And we'd head into the game now against CSK Moscow. Let's see how we get on. So we have the teams on screen there. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. And we're matched up with them as well. A couple of changes. Fred's going to play. Williams is going to play. And uh, Cavani plays up top. Martial's still not quite in goal scoring form just yet. It's a bit of a worry actually guys. Um, should we start playing Cavani more from giving more starts instead of him coming off the bench? Just have an impact chance. Here's Fernandez. Oh, I'm well in from Thiago Silva. Great patience. Van der Beek knocks it on. Bruno back to Van der Beek. Wide to Sancho who's been a danger. Can he cross it? Hasn't quite got past Magnussen yet. Now he does. Van der Beek. Inside to Bruno. Here's Cavani. Uses his strength. Into Van der Beek. Into Bruno. This is lovely football. And Van der Beek scores. Manchester United's first Champions League goal. And you know what? We had to get off to a good start. A back heel from Bruno. It would have been awkward for him to try and take the shot on. And he saw Van der Beek's run. Lovely uh, anticipation. Geich. That's a wonderful tackle from Thiago Silva. Made two key interceptions already. Into Van der Beek. Wide to Sancho. Oh, he's offside. Here's Fred. Five minutes to go till half time. It's oh look at this. Cavani into Bruno. Oh, and I can fair parries it away. Stung the fingertips. And at half time we have a 1-0 lead. We've been a little bit subdued after scoring that early goal. I'm a bit worried about it because this is a potential banana skin here in Russia. Into Gaich. Gaich. And there's Thiago Silva again. What a game he's had today. Fred. Bruno. Van der Beek. Go wide. Yes, in here's Sancho. Taking on Magnussen. Cavani. Bruno. Back to Cavani. This is it. Cavani. Oh, I'm pushed over the bar from Akinfeyev. Not easy to beat the goalie. He's a good goalie, Akinfeyev. Swung in. Oh, and I can fail there again. If Cavani heads at either side of the goal. Heads it straight at him. If it goes in the corner, he scores. And it's Pau Torres. Oh, and another good save. What we've got to do to beat him for this second. Comes in. Oh, off the crossbar. Pau Torres. We beat the goalie and then can't get past the crossbar. <laughs> this is just one of those games where we need a second goal. Danger here as Moscow look for the equaliser. Working it wide. Shenikov. Can he get the cross in? He has to go back. This is really good patience from Moscow and good hurrying from United. Oh, the ball in. Fernandez and a good save from... De Gea. Ajuke. Wide on the left. Ten minutes to go. He's gone past Juan Bissaka. Danger here. Ajuke. Oh, and it's a good interception from Pau Torres. And now the United can break. Sancho. Bruno. That's a fantastic pass. It's Marcus Rashford. He's in behind the defender. Marcus Rashford. Yes. A lovely finish. 
A gorgeous finish from Marcus Rashford as he dinks that ball over the advancing Akinfeyev who's been wonderful in goal today. <laughs> That's a nice finish. I had a feeling that Moscow might have just come back into that within the final 10 minutes. But Rashford has done it again. The lad scored in the league, scored in the Champions League. Let me know in the comments what you think. It's a fantastic start and a clean sheet. And the final game of today's episode is going to be against Southampton. But before we do that, we're just showing you the league table. Arsenal have still not lost a game. We're down in six. And as you can see, mid-table, our rivals Liverpool are in ninth. They've got a terrible start. West Ham in tenth. Newcastle, who we just beat, are down in 14th. And the bottom of the table, Brentford, Southampton and Derby. Both Southampton and Derby are still without a win yet. And uh, Southampton statistically are the worst defensive team in the league. We're going with a rotated lineup, and I know Tom's probably going to groan here, but we've got to give some of these players more of a chance for United, and I feel confident we can get the job done. As I discussed at the beginning of today's episode, Danny James usually plays on the left in rotation, but he's injured. So Alio Traore, who was on loan last year, has a chance to uh, show what he can do. Opening five minutes, Ihataran gets the ball, and it's a pushed away from Mignolet. Into McTominay. And now Traore cuts inside from this left side onto Ihataran. Back to Bidawi. Possession has all been united the opening 20 minutes. Into Greenwood. Greenwood holds it up, looks back, and that's a great pass. And it's Ihataran who opens the scoring. And a promising young central attacking midfielder from the Netherlands runs onto that pass from Mason Greenwood, who knew the shot was not on, he was being crowded out, but he saw the run and he played his teammate in. Williams wins it back here, five minutes to go till half time. McTominay into Traore, Ihataran, Greenwood, Budawi, back to Traore, and a good run from Traore, he's got into the box. On! Almost getting the goal. Not scored for us yet. Badawi and his cross is blocked. Intercepted. A great ball over the top. It's Mason Greenwood onside. Mason Greenwood with a chance. Oh, he spurned it. Not very often you say that. And at half time, it's only a 1 0 lead at the moment. And uh, a little bit worried, a little bit tense. But I still feel like we can get a second there against them. Williams, some good hustle there. And now McTominay, Budawi, Ihataran, blocked off by Schindler. Budawi, oh he gets lucky there, Budawi, into Ihataran! And he fires it in! Mohamed Ihataran! And Ihataran's impact has been very noticeable in today's game. It's a fantastic finish. It's a lovely finish from Mohamed Ihataran. McTominay goes wide to Gale. On as a substitute, another youngster from the academy. McTominay, Ihataran brought down here. 75 minutes into the game and Southampton look like they're heading for another defeat. Schindler's in the book. Greenwood and Ihataran over it. Is Ihataran? Oh, off the crossbar. That could have been his hat trick. Time running out now, and United just need to maintain their focus. Oh, and that's a pass through, and Marini's not going to be able to catch Arn out of it here. And he's in and goal, and he scores. Marco Arn out of it has pulled the goal back. Surely just a consolation. Twanzebi was not marking him. He should have been closer to him there. Henderson not able to stop Arnautovic from scoring. And 
That is full time. So it is only a consolation, thankfully. A bit disappointed to concede that clean sheet, but given the fact that we had a rotation side out against a Premier League side, I'm happy to pick up the three points and uh, plug away, get some more points on the board. Let me know in the comments what you think of those performances. And uh, that about wraps it up. All right, guys, so... That's the end of today's episode. Coming up on Wednesday, we play Stoke in the Carabao Cup and Brentford in the league away. We'll then play a midweek game against Red Bull Leipzig in the Champions League. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, comment, like and share. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing to support me. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. This is our lad for Set Play Gaming. I'll see you on Wednesday.